All right, this is the awkward bit where I go, am I live? Is it live? Does it work? That's a great question. Does it work? I can see a black screen. I can see a Bellatro looking screen. Is it going to drag the ace around for me? Yes, there's about a 12 second delay between me dragging stuff around, I think. But everything's fine. Let me just move where chat is going to sit. Hello, Annie. Hello, Garrett. Hello, Palm. But I got to stream more regularly so I get more good at doing this bit because I'm a bad YouTuber. Um, stick this over here. Make sure that's working. Tell Discord that I'm live. Hide that away. Look over here. Get the screen back. That's back. That's there. I'm going to swap the position of these two windows on my other screen. And then we will actually start playing video games. How about that? Good. We're live. Right. This is probably the last day I will play Bellatro 0.9.3. Hello, everybody. Hello, Pepsi. Hello, Splatter. Hello, Emmy. Hello, Bogdan. Hello, name written in alphabetical characters I don't recognize. And Jerome. Hello, everybody. What deck do you want to play? Do we want to play Blue Magic or Anaglyph? I'll let you guys choose. If I lose, then it's on you, not me, right? Because you picked which deck we're playing. That's definitely how it works. It's not a gambling stream. That's not how this works. We got in first with a request for magic deck. Let's do it. Right, so we still need a win with Seance, but otherwise... Oh, wait, um... That's why everything didn't look right. We were missing my giant, shiny face. I was like, why doesn't something look right in all this streaming malarkey? Because I didn't put my face on. Give me a nice, shiny, full house. You've been here for two hours? I hope you had something good to do in those two hours, whether it was playing Bellatra or something else. All right, we're off to a smooth start. Oh, we could go for some incredibly large trousers. I think we shall. I think we shall go for some incredibly large trousers. And I'll take an Arcana pack while we're at it. This is my face. It's got two eyes, a nose, a mouth, you know, typical face type stuff. Give me... A random joker. Devious does not help me here. If we're going to try and play two pair, we can't play two pair and a straight at the same time. That battle really did trio. It did. All right, let's make a bunch of two pairs. There's one. Then show me another two pair. Yes, we could play the full house because this is uh, hand contains two pair. This is two pair. This is also two pair. However, if I can score less than 300 points here. Okay, well, I would have had a chance to play another two pair to increase my multiplier further, but that's by the by. Splatoon news. Side Order and Bellatro come out the same week. Well, I hope you have a great time choosing what it is you're going to play. Ah, oh, Fibonacci. You are $7 that I do not have, and I don't really want to sell one of my Fool cards, so I'll take a Greedy. I could have sold Devious because I do not need you. Never mind. These things happen. Minus one hand size. Let's fish for a smaller pair rather than a larger pair. This way we might have a chance of playing a second hand, which we do. We just need to find a second pair again. There it is. A grand time was had all round. Demons. Demons trousers. 
What kind of dungarees does Super Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. We could just start going really, really red. And then as soon as we get a chance to make anything into wilds or hearts or diamonds, we'll take it. If I take this negative tag, I am not going to be able to afford whatever is offered to me afterwards, which is a damn shame. But two pair is still two pair. A nice, crisp, clean 1,000 points. Ah, lovers. Perfect. And with $6 remaining, I will take a banner. So, I want to make anything that is black a wild card. Because then it will proc both Lusty Joker and Greedy Joker, while the red cards can just proc one or the other, and that will be totally fine. And... I, I think we're probably going to score enough points with just the two pair anyway. Case in point. But that's fine. Is the stream lagging a load, or is it just not really good in my tiny preview window? Everything all right out there? Oh my god, we could do the four colours. My face has been all over the internet before. But yes, this is my face. Hello, this is my face. Normally I just can't be bothered to do it for the YouTube videos, because this fancy light up here is a bit much on most days, but I understand the purpose of good lighting for streaming. I can appreciate it. I should make more lovers cards before I play any other kind of tarot. Three of clubs is a perfect candidate. Steam is fine, face is great. Thank you, Pepsi. I appreciate that. I'm glad everything is working. It should work. I pay for gigabit internet, so, you know, I'd be upset if it didn't. Right, do you reckon we can find the last Joker in the club at some point? I reckon it's worth trying. Been loving the Bellatra content. Great to see some live. There's going to be a lot more live next week, I assure you. Can you believe it? It's only a week away until 1.0. Seems bonkers to me. Oh, we can get these uh, negatives instead. That'd be nice. Right, let's get another lovers. And then clubs there. Great example of wild cards procking multiple things. For the full release, are you going to do a live stream or post your regular videos? So, oh, flower pot on top of all of it would be incredible. I'm going to ditch banner. I'm going to make a lover's card. I'm going to buy Vagabond. I'm going to open a buffoon pack and probably not take anything from it. I'm going to open an arcana pack. We can make some clubs into diamonds because they're the only suit that we're missing up here. So, for 1.0, there will be daily videos for the road to 100%. I will definitely be doing that. And then there will be a stream on the release day. Or rather, there'll be a stream, I think, on the 19th for press embargoes going up. So... Stream on the 19th, possibly another stream on the 20th, daily videos from the 19th, and bonus videos from the 19th and onwards as fast as I can edit them. But that's a whole other thing down the line. But yeah, so, so much to do. I got a sun card. I should use that. Let's make more clubs into hearts. And then I still want to play two pair. So... Give me two pair. This is now plus 18 malt. I'm getting into loads of debt for Vagabond. That's lovely. Uh, flower pot would be great. Would be a meme if we get all four suit jokers. It's, like, it's such a good pretty picture if you get all four suit jokers together. There's another two pair. A little late, but how does the stream? The stream's only been going for 
like 10 minutes. You have not missed very much, but we are currently just seeing if we can get all four of the sinful jokers. I would love to find another two pair, but odds are it's not going to happen. We've got three tens, we've got three jacks left in the deck, so... No, trips is not going to do it. I also can't do a flush, which is a shame. Temperance doesn't help me. Hanged man doesn't help me. But we are certainly going to get 100 points or 500 points, whatever it is we need. A negative misprint. Oh, we're not going to get there, are we? That's only $4, but flower pot. Somebody made the judgment call for flower pot, and I'm not going to be able to afford that either. I am. Ah. Oh. All right, Vagabond, you're out. Hanged Man, you're out. Flower pot, you're in. Murphy, how you doing, pal? How is the world treating you today? If you don't know Murphy Ob, go and click his name and it might take you to his YouTube channel and you should subscribe over there as well. He does wonderful Bellatro and adjacent stuff. Another negative, another thing I can't have, but we got so many pretty colors up here, I'm totally for it. What wild do we have in the deck is a great question. Three, four, five, warning clubs, acing clubs. So we should be looking for those if we're going to make two pair. So, diamond, club, heart, fake spade, real spade, isn't going to make too much of a difference. There's probably more than 8,000 points with flower pot procking. No, we get an extra chance to play two pair, which is lush because that makes spare trousers bigger. If you do a wild card, wild high card, does it trigger flower pot? No. Flower Pot needs four cards in order to proc, so you have to have four cards representing one suit each when you play, rather than one wild high card. I'll take an Arcana pack. Hey Roblox dude, how are you doing? Roblox dude also makes wonderful Bellatro content. He handcrafted a physically printed Bellatro game variant where you do all of the score tracking on the laptop and all of the card draws with physical cards. Unbelievable amount of work. But that's what they managed to achieve and I can't begin to fathom it. But, you know, we've all put obnoxious amounts of time into pieces of work over the last couple of weeks, as you guys will see on Monday. What do I want to do with my cards here? Probably... Some glass, can't be wild and glass because those are additions. You can only have one addition each. So give me a fancy eight. Thanks for the demo videos all this time. Can't wait for the next week. Thank you for watching them. I appreciate it ever so much. Watching number go up, make Gothic happy. All right, we've got some sixes. Let's discard the high stuff because I've got loads of wild stuff in the small stuff. Dang. Oh, we've got no clubs at all. That's very rude. Show me a club. Wow. So many hearts. I just, I can't believe that still, still no clubs. I can't believe that the time with 0.9.3 has been so brief. Okay, we're running out of opportunities to actually win this blind now, and it's scaring me. I can play two pair. It will go heart, diamond, spade, heart, which is good. It will proc spare trousers again. We'll miss out on flower pot, but we will draw four more cards. I'm going to hold the queen, because then we can also make a spade flush if we have to. This run is dead. Five, 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 queen, queen. No freaking. Wait, 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 wait. This could be a diamond. Heart, spade. Heart, spade. Ah, where is my clubs? Oh, God. Okay, well, that's a travesty. But you know, 
You know what we can do? You know what we can do? We might have just saved the run. We might have just saved the run. Probably not. But, you know. We can but try with a flush house. Oh! <laughs> run is not dead. We survive. Nefesso, you were correct. Oh, it's... <laughs> I can't fit Gluttonous Joker into the pack. If you were negative, it would be beautiful. But I just can't. I can't give up this 30 malt. And I can't give up Flower Pot. It just can't happen. Ghost Pallone is excited for new synergies in, that will be available. Flower Pot and every card in hand scores Joker. Forget the name. Will be so much fun. Uh, I think you mean Splash. So the five cards that you play will score so you can just play one of any card so long as you hit the four suits I don't want a buffoon pack because I don't want to replace any of this so I'm just going to hold my five bucks extra large blind here we go we've got 13 13 13 8 in suits at the moment you going to show me my effectives with the wilds 16, 13, 16. Today is not the last day of the demo. You can continue enjoy, continue enjoying the demo up until Monday the 19th of February. But today will probably be the last day that I play the demo. So this is my farewell, but it doesn't have to be your farewell until the 19th. At which time on the 20th, the game will release into 1.0 and the current demo will come down. That is the story in Balamori. I thought you would like to know. Well, I can just play quads. It's not going to proc spare trousers because it has to be different ranks of two pair, but it is going to proc a lot of this stuff and we have flower pot and I have some wild cards for the next hand, so I can hardly complain. Chris Simmons just popping into stream to say, hey, -oh, keep up the content and that I didn't realize how stressful this game is until you tried it at D&D last night. It's a hoot. This game is incredible and just like finding the little synergies and finding those little clutch moments to escape out of a situation you think is doomed is a lot of fun. This is going to be a flower pot because we've got spade, we've got diamond, we've got heart and we've got club effectively. So I'm going to ditch one of these sevens because we don't have a lot of sevens and it lets me draw into something else. Do I plan on streaming and playing Bellatro on Twitch or similar? Because I would so be there. I'm probably just going to be streaming here on YouTube when I do because I don't... I have like... I think I have like 56 followers over on Twitch so it's not really very functional for me to be working over there to do stuff like this because all of my audience is here. But I should probably work harder on making an audience for myself over in more than one place. We have one discard left. We have a wild three... We have red nines and a deuce of spades. The eight of heart is interesting, but not helpful. None of this counts as a club for me because I have the three, but it doesn't play, so it doesn't score. But two more pair. We'll get this up to 34 malt, and then we might be in the ballpark of just needing to play like high card or something. We do not have a 5 for a straight. We do not have a club. Are we going to get 4,000 points out of this? We have two diamonds, two spades. This will go up again. What did we score for that last hand? I have no idea. I can't make the 8 trigger for 2xing the, the multiplier. This 3 can't play. So this two pair it is ah. what a letdown yeah the whole YouTube is not super well set up for um, discovery and stuff for Twitch streaming or for just streaming in general I suppose let's do a blue deck run and then we'll go to anaglyph after 
YouTube doesn't really push out your content if you're streaming to anyone unless they are already following you. Yeah, I think just my like videos and gaining subscribers that way is kind of how I have grown a lot. And then it just tells the subscribers that I'm live, which generally I'm mostly okay with. I appreciate you can't have it all at once. All right, give me a king. Thank you. Sometimes you just have to ask nicely. Oh yeah, this is the second blind, so one full house isn't going to be enough. Well, we're not going to find a king because we just played most of them. Anaglyph just feels broken. Obviously, you have to find one of those good... One of those good tags to get double of everything, but when you do, or when you have like five tags stacked up, it's just broken. Right, none of these are the planets that we just got for free in the shop. So let's do full house as well. And then this is another planet. So four free things in the shop, four planet levels and nothing else. But for 600 chips, I don't think we need to re-roll and try and buy something there. We can probably make this work. Let's look for some spades. We get them. We could play kings full of fours as well. So this is 55 times 6 plus that. This is 9... Oh, we got flames here, so we just do that. That's much easier. Anaglyph is so fun with double polys. Here you are at 100 viewers. That's so... I have no idea how many people are here. Honestly, like... They're... Hold on, it's going to go black when I click things, isn't it? Oh yeah, 98 concurrent viewers. They say you shouldn't look at the number while you're doing stuff. And because I don't really understand how YouTube streaming works in its entirety... I still haven't dug into it as much as I should, but, you know, I apologize for the black screen that you are witnessing seven seconds ago. Let's buy a Celestial Pack. Give me more full house value. And then we will go into Spectral Land, see if we can find something weird or wonderful. So obviously I could take Familiar, although chances are it's going to destroy a face card to make face cards. But Seance is the only Joker I do not have the sticker on in my collection. So, fingers crossed for Seance. It's the trio, but that's fine. Um, which deck am I most excited for in 1.0? I think a lot of them have changed. But um, what's the, there's a new one where when you play a hand, your chip value and your malt value get averaged out between them is it like plasma deck or something that sounds wild because all the bosses are going to be much harder scaling to get through as well so that sounds like a hoop shall we take 15 dollars to get some cash back i'm sure you could put a mini small notion at the end of one of your videos telling people that you stream on twitch i could but the problem is i don't stream over on Twitch because I only stream like maybe a couple of times a month at max so then it becomes a whole thing of streaming more regularly to build the stream audience more regularly which is a whole faff for me because I work a full time day job having the, an amount of energy to stream every night is much different than being able to like drop into a video for a half hour stop, come back take a break all that stuff whereas streaming is like this big long contiguous amount of time so maybe at some point i will be more routine with it all but right now i'm not going to try and drag people over to twitch where i'm not actually going to be very frequently full house please game just one just one little full house thank you Plasma Deck, that was the name. Made an account just to say thank you for all the great videos on Balatro. Help me get through the workday evening. Well, thank you ever so much, Tipper. I appreciate it immensely. I'm glad you've been enjoying the videos. I'm glad they have found some eyeballs out there in the great big wide internet. Not you. 
You hurt me. You let me down last run, but not buying you. Popcorn. Get a snack, guys. We've got popcorn. Mega standard pack. Choose two out of five cards. Wow. These are exciting. We just have a standard deck right now, so I guess we take two diamonds. I will take a Jumbo Celestial pack as well. More full house. All right, Trio, we're going to do work today. All right. Polychrome tag. Gives a free Mega Buffoon pack. Using the free Mega Buffoon pack, we can sell something to get some money back for this Polychrome Joker in a minute. $1, $2, $3. We're obviously going to take this for the 10x Malt. And then probably Fibonacci as well. So we ditch you. We take you and you. We make sure the Times Malt is on the right so that it will you proc for everything before it. Then we have one hand type this round. Does 1.0 have more antis and or infinites? Yeah, so... As others have said, the game goes up to 8, and if you beat anti-8, you have won. And then after you've won, you can go endless thereafter to try and really push the limits of your deck as far as possible. It's not a full house, although 60 times 7, 140 times 12. There is a correct answer here, and it's play the full house. Pull the full, play the full house, Gothic. That's how numbers work. Uh, did you see the price? Very reasonable. I did. 15 US dollars or 12 English pounds and 79 pence is incredible. And Crafty Joker for flushes in Polychrome. I kind of forgot the Polychrome bit, if I'm honest. But we will ditch Popcorn. Take the Polychrome card, because why wouldn't you? Uh, do I have a favourite Joker this demo? I do, and that Joker is Hit the Road. But it's not very good in this demo because the demo is like much smaller structure than the summer playtest I played back last year where Hit the Road just did incredible things for me and I thought it was incredibly good fun. Right, we want full houses. Full houses. We have one extra seven and one extra ace. Well, I've got two sixes and two threes, so this will be fine. Do I want to do a challenge this stream? If you guys can convince me of a good challenge to do this stream, I will try and do a challenge this stream. If you've got a good idea, I will totally listen to it. Let's make a... no, not a steel ace. Let's make a steel king. And then I will take an Emperor. Wheel of Fortune. Of course. Chariot for another steel card at an opportune moment will be great. Probably against the wall in a moment. We have a straight, but I'm not going to play it. Yet the game is going to be 15 US dollars or like 13 euros or 12 pounds 79 English. It will convert to your local currency across the globe if you're not in one of those three currencies. And the game will be on Steam, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo, uh, Microsoft Xbox, and the previous less powerful version of Xbox, whichever that one is. I don't pay enough attention to these things. I think that's right. It might not be on PS4 and PS5 or however that goes as well, but... It's on the lower generation of Xbox, that's for sure. Thank you ever so much for the three. What have we got going for challenges? Um, Andrew, that is a wonderful idea. What was Andrew's idea? Is there going to be a high score leaderboard? One per deck would be awesome. I don't know if that will be in 1.0 or not. I can't remember how it's going to go. There was discussion a while ago about the inclusion of daily runs, which will not be in 1.0, but a future update, and the daily runs will probably have leaderboards. But leaderboards for general runs, I don't think will be a thing, just because 
a few people are going to be grinding out the obnoxiously high scores and then everybody else won't be anywhere near those but for dailies everyone's kind of on a level playing field i think we could try and get a deck of all one suit if we can get a good um, vagabond run perhaps I uh, hope the price is going to be regionalized as well. It will be regionalized. Yeah, Xbox One, I think. Microsoft naming convention is silly. Yeah, all of that stuff. Um, we have Hack and we have Fibonacci. Do we ditch Banner for Hack or is that unreasonable? Do you want to see Hack or stick with Banner? Because Hack is 30 chips because it's foil. So, Benjamin, are you meaning left to right like we go voucher, then this joker, then this pack, then this joker, then this pack? Because that's going to be a tough one if you have to buy the voucher uh, if you have to buy the vouchers first each time. So, Ronan, let's go back to this run. Will save. So let's go back to the main menu. And we can go and look at play. Over here, on the right-hand side of the run, whether that's new run or continue, there are these eight little pips here. Each one of those is a difficulty level. So once you've beaten the game with a deck on one difficulty level, you'll unlock the next difficulty level up. So it's like Slay the, Star Slay the Spire Ascension, if you know that. And so each level gets a little bit harder and each level or stake as they're known in the game, this is white stake based difficulty. If you're on like stake level six, you have all of the modifiers from five, four, three, two, and one also impacting you. So they're gonna be uh, tougher and tougher as you go. Also, if you guys didn't know, if I go over to profile two here or profile one, there's an unlock all button. So if you're not interested in doing the meta progression, you can come into the main menu, press unlock all, and it will unlock everything in the collection, the challenges, the tags, the tarot cards, the planets. It'll just unlock everything for you. The only thing that will do is it will lock you out of getting like Steam achievements and Xbox Live achievements and stuff like that. Hack Fibonacci, hack or go home, hackanacci, yes. All right, you guys voted for it. Hackanacci. I'll crack a standard pack. I guess we're just taking the five because five on hack Fibonacci. Although the four on hack. Oh no, Fibonacci is not four. Two is. So hack two, Fibonacci two, even Steven two. I guess we take the two. Yeah, if, you, if some people don't want that kind of like long persistent challenge of doing something, but I'm totally here for it. So what I will do is I will have like profile three. I will unlock all so I can go and like grab assets and stuff for thumbnails and all of that gubbins. These are not the seals that you want for hack, really. I'm just going to put a seal, a purple seal here. And then, like, profile one will probably be my road to 100% file. And profile two might just be for messing around with or something like that. Something of that ilk. Right, it's the wall. We have trip sixes in hand already, which is nice. If I could double up something down here. You tried, game. You really tried. Give me a five or a deuce. Oh, my God. Give me a five or reduce. That's a three. Give me a five or reduce. All right, well, we're not going to get... Um... This is played. We trigger each played card. So the five wouldn't go twice with steel. So we'll do this. Then we'll play this full house and just hope that something good will come of it. I need 800 points from these eight cards. <laughs> I'm guessing two pair aces and deuces. 
The deuces will go twice on even Stevens. That's probably worth it alone. The aces will go on Fibonacci. Yeah, this is this is the play. Good. Love to see it. Uh, Ruben, there is not currently a uh, like a free creative mode. It's something that has been raised in the Blattro Discord. And so it may kind of come as like a, um, a sandbox mode down the line. If not, modders might put it into the game after 1.0 at some point, but it's not going to be there on Tuesday next week. But that is something that people have voiced like opinions on because they would love to just like break the system and go, okay, I want every card with every glass, every polychrome, every Fibonacci. I want negative a thousand jokers and just see what wildness could be done. Show me none of these. These don't help me very much. Didn't Hack used to double steal cards? I can't remember if Hack ever did. Because steal cards used to do what they do now. Then they were changed to do something when they were played. And then they were reverted back to what they do now. So the timeline on it is a bit funky. But I don't remember specifically. Other people could probably tell you. There is, so somebody called Math something, I forget their full screen name, over in the Discord does have a Seed Searcher system that I do not understand, but we take the Polychrome 9 here. They have some way of searching through seeds for really good seeds that, yeah, I don't understand it, but I know it exists, so you can look out for that as well. That's a lot of Steel stuff, and in that case, I'm just going to ditch the King to get a Tarot card, hold on to the Deuces, and hold on to the Steel. Right, what do we have for sevens? We have an extra seven. No, we don't. That was last run. So we've got two sevens. Three deuces. Can we find a seven or a deuce? No, but we can find a nine. Don't think that's going to help here. If you have a thousand negative jokers, your hand size would be awful. So you can get negatives by things like negative tags or buying negatives from the shop. It's not only the tarot card that gives you minus one hand size. So there are other ways to get negatives which don't impact the uh, the size of your hand here. I'm going to ditch the nine. Look for a seven or a deuce. Or a pair of fives, you know. There's that too. Let's make both of these malt. And then they'll trigger twice with hack Fibonacci malt malt. Ten thousand points for a pair of fives is not bad. This is not going to do very much. Welcome to the two pair show, I guess. Trio be damned. Also, challenge idea: beat the game with a hand size of one. Somebody has done it with a hand size of zero. Vagabond, it's a little too late for you today, buddy also hologram yeah there are some wizards over on the discord that have done incredible things i don't think i want any of these i guess i'm gonna take the nine because we have a polychrome nine in the deck now so if something can make that nine slightly easier to play fine by me sure i saw hack re-trigger a steel two during this demo well, 1.5x in the hand. It might have been. I can't remember if hack was changed one way or the other. No, the zero hand size didn't work. It did. So they had... Um, uh, juggler in hand for plus hand size. Then they got their hand down to zero... Then they sold Juggler and their hand size was 1 over 0. Then they played the high card to make 0 of 0 for hand size, I think. Red Seal retriggers Steel cards, but Hack doesn't. That makes a lot of sense for where we're at right now, at least with how things currently stand. Show me a 3 or a 4. Show me a 3 or a 4. Show me a 3 or a 4. 
How dare you have the audacity not to give me a three or a four? This is very rude. The game is disrespecting me right now. <laughs> God damn it. Do I play the king? Let's try and fish. I think I have to, right? Yes! Thank goodness. What are the other games I'm looking forward to this year? That is a great question. If I could remember any of the names of them, that would be great. Uh, let me get my Steam wish list up on my phone if I can, rather than clicking around over here. Um, more steel. More steel is great. Uh, Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. The demo has been a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see where that goes when it's more fleshed out. Just got two random cards per hand played. It's going to be a hoot, isn't it? Show me that Polychrome 9. Now is the time for that to show up, please. Well, beggars can't be choosers. How do I see my wish list in the Steam app? There it is. Let's take the Jumbo Standard, look for more random polychrome cards or cards that work under here. Well, I'll take an Ace with Holographic on it. Uh, sort by my rank. Here we go. So, Balatro, number one. Uh, number two, Isles of Sea and Sky is a soccer barn style tile puzzle pushing game. But the whole thing is kind of in a meta overworld like the original Zelda, like the top down 2D Zelda. That I'm incredibly excited for. That lemonade's really hitting me. Um, what else? Die in the Dungeon, Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers, Hex Strikers. If you ever saw any of my videos on a little game called Roll. Oh, we're at Cerulean Bell already. Jeez. Um. So Roll is like a score attack game where you're just trying to like build an engine of maths that gets bigger and numbers and bigger numbers and bigger numbers. It's another game in that genre is Hex Strikers. Putty Putter, another puzzle game. Court of Wanderers. Rift of the Necrodancer is a actual rhythm game based on Crypt of the Necrodancer, the roguelike rhythm game. Borleanaire. Soccer Bond Express comes out in like a week. Excited for that. Just having time to play all of these things. Yeah, that's the stuff at the very top of my list. <sighs> Trips here still gets benefit of the trio. We don't get our super high full house level, but we have to play one of these sevens. So off they go. 3,000 points is not going to cut it. One solitary five is a terrible time. If I had one more spade, I would just play the spade flush, but that's not going to work. Hello, Goo. How are you doing? Welcome. Ah, oh, this is not great, is it? Cerulean Bell. I bet if Misty were here, she would ring a Cerulean bell. Is it Misty that's in Cerulean City in Pokemon? I don't remember. I just remember all the towns are named of colours, and you start in a town called Pallet. Um, God, that was like 24 years ago. That's terrifying. What am I going to do here? This, I guess... All right, well, a pair of aces is something. They do go for Fibonacci, and this one is holographic. Yeah. 
ditch the king. Maybe I should ditch the king. All right, we've got a nine and a polychrome nine. The threes are terribly timed, but I'm going to play them rather than discard them. There's the kings. Gone. All right, we got the nine. We're going to play this, and we're going to hope to get a five back. We have two in the deck. Yes! <laughs> it's not going to be enough, is it? But it's the best I can possibly hope for. So five goes. Fibonacci. Hack. Fibonacci, five goes, blah, 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 nine, nine, and then polychrome nine on the end. Just, just about as good as it could possibly go. Is it? We'll find out. Big number go burr, big number go burr. Ah! <laughs> oh, great time was had by all. Ah, good. Oh, should I should I go wish this the game on Steam? Do you reckon that would help? If you didn't know, the game on Steam, Bellatro, has over a hundred and seventy thousand wish lists. A hundred and seventy thousand. Absurdly high number. Right, shall we go anaglyph? And we will try and do a live or skip run. Don't know how successful we'll be. But we'll try. Alright, we have a giant hand, which is handy. We'll start with this full house and see if we can back up into another flush or something. How long am I going to be live for? I'm probably going to be live for no more than another two and a half hours. Oh, they discarded my Ace of Spades. That was very rude. Yeah, we started about 6.30pm, my time, GMT, in England. And I'll probably go to about 9.30 this evening. So, another two and a half hours-ish. Right. These things, they help me so incredibly much. <laughs> God, these don't help me at all. Just want to see what the other difficulties are other than white chip. Um, one of them makes it so that you don't get rewards from small blinds. You don't get any small blind cash. Another one is the antis scale slightly faster. Another one is that sometimes you get jokers that cannot be sold. So something like that. I have to re-roll. Do I have to re-roll? Do we have to find some kind of joker for actually making progress in this game? I wonder how the console version will integrate the controller into the HUD. Tell you what, we're going to do this live, but... Table. Oh my god. Why well, I shouldn't do things live. Let me just deal with this. What are you doing? This is why I should have wireless things. God, why? It doesn't help that I'm looking into an incredibly bright light which just turns it into one big spaghetti silhouette. What jokers are you guys most excited to play with in 1.0? Is there something that's been teased that you're like, ah, oh, I want to get my hands on that. That looks like a lot of fun. How have you done this? All right, the mouse is free. All right, let's see how controller works, shall we? A 
Okay, we have... Hold on. He gave me things and then took them away. Okay, we have move around on stick or D-pad. Controller is good for PC. Extra hand might help by Celestial Pack and then next round. I'm playing on Steam Deck, works great. Glove gives extra hand. This is extra card, one bigger hand size. Blah, blah, da -ba -da, da -ba da Mini Joker, the one that goes, oh, Wii Joker. Goes up for two chips or one chip for every two that you play. Is a lot of fun. I've never seen the UI with these giant white borders around before. The Joker that lets you buy the same Joker again. That is not Spaceman. Ringmaster, not Ringmaster, it changed because master is a nasty word. Uh, showman. Is that Showman? Uh, is Smear Joker in the full game or did it get removed? Smear Joker will be there. Yeah, so it's not called Ringmaster anymore because Master has negative connotations in language sometimes. So it's Showman now, as in person who runs a circus. The Big Show. Card Sharp and Showman. Right, what am I doing? Uh... So, can I press A to reroll here, or do I have to press X? I can press A, or I can press X without moving over to it. And it's right bumper to buy. And then left bumper to sell. Y for next round. Oh, we're doing an all skip, aren't we? Oh, great. The next shop is going to have three foils that I can't afford. Yep, 150 jokers in the full game. Let's play the smallest cards. Because then we get the most value. So that card there is a 7, which means this is a 7. And if we play that with the 10s, that card is an 8. So we can play the 8 with the 8. And then between the queen and the king must be another queen or king. So we can play two pair again. Do we know what the soul tarot does? So the soul was a tarot back in the summer playtest last year, and it spawns a legendary joker, but it's now been moved to be a spectral card rather than a tarot card. Unless that's changed, it may have. Um, God, none of these things, this is not gonna be the all skip run for our victory, is it? I'm gonna buy a death card. And then skip. More foil cards. This is not this is not the set of tags I need to succeed in the world. What's up with these shops? These shops are trash. Trash shop. Alright, we've seen how the controller works, but my muscle memory for it does not exist, so. Uh, by the way, if you wanted to know, it's the original Xbox Duke controller because it's the best controller and I will not have anybody tell me otherwise. Oh, sweet mouse. Sweet mouse. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a very big straight. So this must be 7 proceeds to clicks... Yeah, I wanted the face-up seven to pair with the seven, didn't I? I could be wrong. I could have screwed something up. How many jokers that have never been tested or in the demo will there be in 1.0? Let me just click over to my magic spreadsheet over here. That one, 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 that one. I count nine jokers that have never been played in a demo before in my magical list of many things of forbidden knowledge. Minus one hand size, we're on 13 cards. Um, do you want to go for this straight flush, did somebody say? 
But then let's keep. Tell you what, let's keep nine, ten, queen, and three, four, five, six, and see what we get back. Queen. Oh, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. The three's not going to double for very much. Which is a problem. So let's try and play these before we play the big one. And ditch out some of these low cards first. Oops or sixes. Oops or sixes is going to be great. There's nine we don't know. There's... But there's some that we don't know the effects of, some that we do because of the live streams. Uh, let's play two pair, I guess. But I know all the names of all the jokers because I am a secret wizard who has been told forbidden knowledge. King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. I would go longer if I could on the straight flush, but I can't. Still might not be enough. What is the highest scoring hand out of these 13 cards? We are on base levels for everything. Is it the diamond flush or is it the Broadway straight? So this is 81 times 4 plus 8 on malt. Or 35 times 4 plus 4 on malt. I think Broadway is more. but I, Or I could make a full house with death card, but... I probably should, shouldn't I? Does oops or sixes multiply or add if you have more of them? It adds. So if I've got a 1 in 6 chance, and then it, oops or sixes makes it a 2 in 6 chance, then oops or sixes makes it a 3 in 6 chance. What's my favorite non-demo joker? So a de joker that's not in this demo. Um, I like driver's license a lot, which is modify, I think it's like 15 cards in your deck, and then you get um, a bunch of multiplier. Make the four a diamond and do a flush. So we'll make the four into an ace of diamonds. Get rid of the six, because that's the lowest one, and then get 14 malt on a decent sized flush. That is a great plan. It wasn't a good enough plan though. But to be fair, those skips were trash. But we can hold R until I find something that I can work with, which I probably shouldn't do too much, but if it could just give me the one where I get two common jokers for free, I'd be over the moon. Ride the bus and Wii Joker still go... I think Ride the bus and Wii Joker will be a powerhouse. If I take a holographic uncommon joker, if I can afford it, it will be incredible. Whether I can afford it is a whole other business. 98765... heard much about the achievements hope it's difficult um so there has been a leak of achievements from the xbox site upload so that is a thing that has been revealed they are different than the achievement list i've seen elsewhere but i assume that's because i saw a work in progress list I'm sorry. Can we get all of the hype for holographic throwback in an all skip run? It's a thing of magic. Good grief. Okay, so now it's my game to throw. Uh, gives a free mega buffoon pack. Or two free mega buffoon packs. 
I don't think I can make obelisk work here, so I'm not going to try. Um, do we take photograph as well? Probably not, because a lot of this stuff has very low base multipliers. So, do we just take even Steven Lusty and go from there? Is that the plan? Let the throwing commence. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Um, grab some flat malt. All right. We are going to get another buffoon pack right after this as well. So there's that too. Um, we could take devious shortcut. I hate that the uh, chat is like 11 seconds behind the broadcast. And so there's this kind of like tiny discrepancy between me doing things and you guys giving me much better ideas than my ideas. But I think Devious Shortcut has to be the play, right? Shortcut must take. And then you can't not take Devious if you take Shortcut. Then $1 per discard use this run will give me three whole dollars. Even or Lusty might make Photo do something. Devious Shortcut for the win. So we've got hearts and evens hearts evens this is just a straight which is boring because it doesn't have any gaps in it but at the same time it's gonna win so you know how can i be mad yeah the two four two four six eight ten back in like yonder history of the world used to be a valid poker hand in some forms of actual casino poker. It didn't live to stand the test of time, but I I have like 30 poker books from when I was an aspiring professional poker player. Don't try and be a professional poker player, it's not worth it. But um, yeah, the random little bits of trivia you get out of those books is quite something. I don't think, with all skips, I don't think I'm going to get enough money to make Bull work it. So, I don't think I try. I think we go Arcana Pack. Wow, double my $8, I guess. Two planets. I mean, if I get Saturn, I'd be pretty happy about it, I guess. No, of course it's Jupiter. Of course it's Jupiter. Who knows what the Joker does in Sneak Peek? Uh, do we know Fireplace? This is where I, I, I could get in trouble because there's things that I know that you guys don't know that I can't tell you and so I'm like is that a thing that the public knows or is that a thing that I know and I definitely shouldn't say anything that I know that you guys don't know because I get in trouble <laughs> so I'm just gonna not speculate about it anymore um, I don't want a standard pack uh, I guess I will take a standard pack but only because we have shortcut Because if I have a regular 52 card deck, it's the most well suited to making straights as it can be because if I have an equal chance of getting anything that I need. Thank you, Robox dude. I appreciate you. Are you guys all hanging out in the Discord without me? I haven't got it up on the other screen right now. The, pro the problem I have is that if I if I like if I go click over on Discord right now, OBS doesn't know that I'm looking at something else that's not this. So then I have to come back to this and the screen goes black in between and it's a whole faff. So uh, oh, he messaged me in here. Blah 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 blah. Okay, that's something else entirely. 
All right, we're doing all skips. So rerolls in the next shop cost nothing. I get that twice. Um, choose two of five playing cards. I will take a wild 10. And I'll take the jack to match. All face, all, fa all face cards are drawn face down. Okay. Ace, deuce, three, four, five is a straight. You can play the ace as a one. It will still score 11 chips, but it's the one in the count. We get another... So all this stuff is free. Baseball card. Uncommon, uncommon, common, common, common. Is baseball card better than even Steven? I think it probably is, right? I think that's something we probably do. Thoughts, chat, while I hydrate. Super hyped for the full release. Can't believe the price point seems more than fair like i'm gonna buy it on my nintendo switch i'm gonna make my girlfriend buy it baseball better than lusty yes all right lusty's out baseball is in so shortcut is now a 1.5 x multiplier and throwback is A rare is a rare. Yeah, a rare is a rare. That is a great way of putting it. Fortune Teller is not going to be it, though. Monsanto. All right, we'll take the straight flushes, then. Oh, I could have re-rolled for free. Well, never mind. Wow. I'm. Thank you so much for three D6 tags. It's what I always wanted. Uh, here, I'm going to take a purple sealed 10 to create a tarot card when I discard it. I, I completely forgot the free rerolls and I apologize. That is totally on me. Uh, and a foil 6. Lose one card per card played. Do we have a straight? Let's ask ourselves. 7, 8... 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. We do have a straight. First of all, let's discard that uh, tower I do not care about. 7, 8, 9, Queen, Ace is too far away. What have I done? 10, Jack is too big of a gap. Well, I'm just going to play the 6 then, because then I can hold this stuff. Or, yeah, there's no... There's no way I can do this and retain the wild card. So we'll just do it that way. Can you hover over the cards when they're considering what to take so we can see what they do? I will try and hover over them a little more slowly. Yes, give me the fires of victory. Right. So now we have three rerolls. We could just take a chance to make some more spades. We've got a lot of funky spades, and then if we can make a if we can make a straight flush with the six and the seven, or make one of these other sixes or sevens into spades and play a flush house, we'd be pretty happy. And then I'm going to sell the tower by a strength card, because that's more useful to me than a tower is. Skip. Skip. Mega Celestial. There's Saturn. So level up straight, plus three molt, plus 20 chips. And we'll do full house as well. The stream of luck is wild right now. Yeah, but did you see the stream of luck in the last run? I got absolutely crushed in the last run. Okay, we have Broadway. So I guess we just play it. We're so close to a Royal Flush and we don't have it. Although, do we? We don't. 
because we only have one spade and I can only make three spades. Did you get Iris? Don't remember if I saw a video with it. Spoiler alert for tomorrow's video. Um, maybe I get Iris, maybe I don't. You'll have to have to tune in on Valentine's Day. Spend uh, spend 20 minutes with me. You might get to know me and my collection a bit better. That was weird. I don't know why I said that. Just, uh, just play the straight. Just play the straight. Don't overcomplicate it too much. I don't know if you can get the negative tag in Anti-1. There are some tags that you are locked out of getting on the first round because the developer wants to discourage too much immediate re-rolling. There you go. Roblox Dude knows. If, if, if I'm in doubt, listen to Roblox Dude. Any club Jack Club left? There might have been in the deck for sure, but right now we won't know. With shortcut in play, there's a chance this is a straight. What can I say? I'm too good. Tree dweller, you treat me nicely, maybe we'll go back to your tree. Don't tell my fiance. These only sell for a dollar. I can get nine dollars. At least it's common, not uncommon, otherwise that would be more annoying. Um, there is a chance we could Arcana pack into enough money. There is a chance. We failed. Um, give me a lucky jack. All right, we are not going to get this guy, unfortunately. Nor that guy. I shouldn't have done that, really. Oh, we're at Cerulean Bell already. Okay. So, plus four malt on even cards played. 120 chips on straights. Straights can be made with gaps. Uncommon jokers give 1.5 times malt, which is shortcut and throwback. And throwback is a holographic plus 10 malt with a 3.5 times multiplier. It's a lot to work with. <sighs> right, we have strength and we have world. Unfortunately, if I could strength these sevens into eights, I could make a full house, but I can't because the four is selected and I can't deselect it. So that's a problem. I could just make... Well, can we, can we, can we play a straight? No, we can't. We can't gap over five, six. So forget that. I'm going to do this. Jack 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 also cannot do a straight. Also cannot do a full hush, full flush house because I can't make these sevens bigger. The legendary jokers were great. Strength the four. To five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. We could do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. I'm glad you guys were paying attention. All right, that's half of what we need. Jack, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Spades. Straight flush. Lovely. There you have it, chat. A live all skips run. We did it. I was not bluffing. Right, what's what's next? We still got like two hours. What do you want to see next? Let me just check me bits and pieces. Somebody in the YouTube comments surprised at how cheap the game is. 
bits and pieces going on over on the Discord. We did, we did smoke it. <laughs> the throw has been completed. Oh, we did, what did we do over here? I got the foil tag, it forced me to get it last run. Are stones viable with anything in this demo? I don't think stone cards are terribly viable in this. Gotta go, love the content, excited for the game. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, time zone, Socho. Hope you have a great one. If they are above each other, you may choose. I card run. How is this man so lucky? I have three or four runs before getting a win run. Uh, Avraham, this is not the last day of the demo. The demo will run up until the release on February 20th. It's just my last day to play the demo. I'm not going to be able to have any time to play the demo after today. So this is a Gothic Lord sends off the demo, not the demo ends. Must buy and replace a Joker every round. I think we could do that. Must buy and replace a Joker every round. Let's take the magic deck out for a run. Right. We don't have to skip everything, so we shan't. Um, we don't have shortcut anymore, much to my dismay. That is a totally adequate full house. Are you traveling or are they going to kill you? Uh, I'm not traveling and I don't believe anybody has the death of Gothic Lords UK on their February to-do list. I tried this and failed horribly, but I'm not nearly as good as you are at this game, lol. Well, this is a terrible start. In a game where you have to buy and sell a Joker, what did we say? It was every shop, or... Uh, must buy and replace a Joker every round. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this way. This one... God damn. This one... I get to buy the Joker, and the next one, I have to replace, I have to buy and sell something. We'll go with that. Give me two free Arcana packs, I'm probably going to regret this. Give me Emperor, obviously. Then 976 for spades. Then something in gold. I should have made another emperor first. I'm dumb. Then a chariot. Then another chariot. Oh, Baldur's Gate release day was a hoot. I've I've done one full campaign of Baldur's Gate 3 here on the channel. Uh, I did like a bunch of the um, early access campaigns and then I've done one full campaign on tactician mode here at and I've just not had time to sit down and do an honor mode run yet, but I so badly want to. I just haven't had time to sit down and do it. Right. Um, show me aces or kings. That is neither of those things. Okay. Uh, show me one more for a full house. You tried. You tried, game. You tried. Still haven't finished my Baldur's Gate 3 run, stopped halfway through Act 3. Act 3 is like so much more than I was expecting it to be when I got there. Like for what is a relatively small piece of city real estate, there is so much going on in it. It was a tiny bit overwhelming, especially when you kind of don't know when it's going to end. So the rule is I have to buy something and then I have to sell something. That was useful. Oh, I can buffoon pack. Yes. Um, flushes and spare trousers is not gonna work. So give me hearts. Create two common jokers. 
hashtag blessed. And then we'll see where we go from here. Come on. Give me something I can work with. That'll do. That will do. Now, who do we sacrifice to the rules gods? Well, we obviously do that. That's just fiscal sense. Um, we have a regular... Oh, no, we have way fewer hearts. Goodbye. And I'll take the plus six here as well. All right, you're saying there's a chance. Now, Gloomhaven was a hoot. The board game, I have it, I own it, I was gifted it. And, like, the mental arithmetic for doing all of the enemy's moves every turn was just too much. And so to have the digital copy where... The computer just does all that stuff for you. It was so nice. And not having to, like, unpack it all and put it all away after. That was a great bit. We got rid of our heart joker, so all of these hearts don't really mean that much to me. We've only got four on spare trousers, though, so show me a heart. It's not a heart, but I'll take it. Hello, our dearest gothic lord and earl of cards. Cards for you. Cards for everybody. Cards for all. It is a good day. I love board games, but I don't get that much of a chance to play them. I do have just literally right here. I have my giant collection of Final Girl, because what more do you need in the world than board games that you can play alone. Yeah, I basically have a bunch of solo board games. And a bunch of legacy board games. So, uh, Pandemic Legacy, King's Dilemma, My City, Jurassic Park Legacy. Like, those campaign games, I'm totally here for. Love them. Uh, this, though... This is, I mean, if this is a five, this is all stuff that is five or smaller. So it's a fairly small pool of stuff to possibly make a second pair out of. The Bellatro board game already exists. Um, Roblox dude in the chat has made one. Should I discard stuff? Now, we'll play one more. Wow, that's trash. But we got there. We're fine. We're fine. It is not 3 p.m. either. It is almost 8 p.m. here. Right, we sell credit card. We buy popcorn. We progress. There's two pair again. We just got a new physical card game called Doomlings last month. I've been obsessed with it. You build up traits to score points. Not heard of it, but it sounds like a good time. Is it like an engine builder, like a Euro game? Ah, we just got you, Popcorn. How many diamonds do we have? Twelve. I just, I don't think I'm going to play many fortune cards. Just not, not on the cards here. Glass, thank you ever so much. I like Catan. I had Catan on Xbox Live Arcade on the Xbox 360, and I played a lot of it there. That was a good, fun time. Alright, this has not got two pair in it, but it's too good to throw away, I think. And I see I see so many people on TikTok that just have 
walls of board games. And I'm like, I wish I had that many friends. I wish more good board games would get good digital ports of those games. Like, I know there's, um... What's the one with the birds and the eggs and you build a tableau of birds to lay eggs and get food and stuff? That one is a, a good one. Want to play a game of Catan someday? Maybe. Um, if you DM me on Discord, my Discord DMs are open. If you're over there on the, the Blattro Discord or anything, find me over there and maybe the problem I have is finding time to do stuff. Like, for the last two years, I've basically done three YouTube video uploads a day until Christmas just gone and now I'm on one a day if I'm lucky. Wingspan, that's the one. Um, I'm lucky if I get one video out a day because I'm doing so much work behind the scenes for other videos that aren't up yet. I don't have time to play video games yet alone play board games. I have to sell something. Has to be the banana, right? Has to be the banana. Um, goodbye, diamonds. Hello, bananas. Let's take another standard pack. Uh, yeah, I'll take a wild nine of hearts in foil. Minus one hand size. Sure. Well, history of a kind. We'll get 8 from Spare Trousers, 12 from Popcorn, 3 Odd Todd Procs, 15 Malt from Gros Michel, and 18 Multiplier from Raise Fist on 9. Smashed it, mate. Absolutely smashed it. Uh, I would not mind a trio. Popcorn is down to plus 8. Popcorn can go. Trio is in. Mega standard pack. Right, we have five kings, five nines. Well, I'm just going to take the enhanced cards if that's all we get the options for. Right, so we want to play something with three of a kind in it because the trio, 2x Malt, if played hand contains three of a kind, that three of a kind can be part of a full house. Bass cards go on the right just because of tradition. Glass card didn't break, which is lovely. Show me... Wait, I have a seven. Why would I discard to try and be shown a seven when I have a seven? Uh, Gros Michel was a species of banana that caught a disease and then was basically wiped out off the planet. And so if you go to the supermarket and buy a banana now, that is almost certainly a Cavendish species of banana. And when Gros Michel here, if it dies on the 1 in 8 chance to be destroyed, in the 1.0 version of the game, after Gros Michel is destroyed, you then have a chance to find Cavendish, which is a su superior type of banana. I apologize for punching microphone. Right, we have to change something. What are we changing? It's a great question. Well, we can't afford a reroll. So we're taking one of these two things, which does not fill me with glee. Goodbye, raised fist. Hello, drunkard. Okay, the queens are a lovely start. Let's discard the really small stuff, although we don't have um, raised fist anymore, so it doesn't matter as much. Love the law. The, the Bellatro law runs deep. Um... Two odd Todd procs, and then Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is in steel, but that doesn't matter as much because I'm more interested in getting the full house to play. 
We need 500 more points, which will be scored with this. You know, uh, Odd Todd and Even Steven? They're in the Balatro lore, they are a couple. They are a little tiny unit. Odd Todd and Even Steven, congratulations to them on their togetherness. Um, I'm going to take a... N oh, I have to do a joker. have to do a joker. Drunkard, you're out. Swashbuckler, you're in. 11 or 7. But here's the thing. This is plus 11 because it's adding the sell value of all the owned jokers to the left of it. So right now that is 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. So this is plus 11. If I put it here, it's plus 7 because we lose this plus 4. But if I play trips... This is 2x, so this is plus 14. So I can move it to where it is most valuable depending on the individual hand I play. No, Dr. Spectre, it's, it's a deep and loving relationship of two playing cards who have been anthropomorphized by the audience. That's what it is. First hand is drawn face down. All right, so we're not playing trips this hand, that's for sure. Shall we play something, or shall we discard first? Let's play. we got four hands and three discards. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7. There's a chance this is a six, but I'm not taking it. Tens and nines. Good for pants. Which challenge is this now? Tall but dumb. Tall but dumb. We have to always sell a joker when we're in the shop and buy a different joker. So even though I've had some really good jokers, every time I've had to sell something to buy something else. What are we going to do here? We could play the two pair. We could look for a diamond. I'd rather probably play a full house if it could be arranged we don't know the face card face down cards we already threw away so there's a world where there isn't a 10 or a 9 to be found but we found a 9 so then that goes there because 2 times 7 is 14 or 1 times 11 is 11 so that's worth more to me there Sorted. Benjamin, you got the right idea here. You know what's going on. Um, okay, well. This is now bigger than banana. Although I think I might just ditch Swashbuckler for Fibonacci. Can't afford anything else, but that's fine. $17. Is huge. Ah, oh, the wall coming up. Gonna be a problem. The wall could be the end of us. We have two threes and three kings. We found one of each. Now, obviously the king is bigger than the three, but the three procs for Fibonacci. So we obviously do this. Because this is 24 malt times two. It's a grand old time. Right, what next? It's a very big wall. Oh, we have to sell something! <laughs> I always get so comfortable with the wonderful situation we have. Um, I think it's time for Banana to go. And then we get Raised Fist back. I'm going to take this Jumbo Pack, Arcana see if we get something really good can make a chariot can make a glass card i can make these two sevens into eights hello rebirth flame how you doing hope you're having a cracking tuesday have you heard the good news about the price of balatro 15 us dollars in one week's time 
That's right, we know how much the game is going to cost. 15 US dollars, 12 pounds, 79 English pence. Your currency mileage may vary depending on where you are in the world. Welcome back to the team Raised Fist. Oh. Now I see I'm in the future. I know I didn't take Raised Fist. Um, if I take Judgment, it's a different... I, I took a Joker, right? I took a Joker. But I could also make these sevens into eights for the sake of Fibonacci. I can make something into glass for the sake of trying to defeat the wall in a moment. I could take a chariot for the sake of trying to beat the wall in a moment. There's a lot of options. I'm going to go with the glass king. I've never spent money on a game, but this one might be a buy. For $15, I don't think you could go wrong. You're a whip cracker. All right, I'm going to go with the glass on the king. We'll try and make a full house out of that. Then we had to buy a joker, so we get joker. At least we know what we give up next time most easily. Show me a club. No, because I want trips. Mm, fine. Show me a six. God, what am I doing here? Hating lots of things, that's what. Alright, now we have nines and sixes, which is something. Queen is steel. Nothing of this procs on Fibonacci. Nothing procs on Odd Todd either. I think I'm just going to play this and try and get a new hand of cards. Oh, talking so much. It's thirsty work. Benjamin, don't be shady. I don't know what that means, but don't be shady. Support indie developers. Well, you should support the Lockbeer landlord and role developers. So there's that. pair of aces did we just get rid of some sixes we must have because we only have two left in the deck i'm gonna ditch the glass six we got loads of kings left loads of queens left that'll do it that will do it um i don't need to worry about where the aces go because there's no glass cards this will be fine I'm glad you've enjoyed the videos. I've enjoyed making them and sharing them and learning everything from the comments because you guys teach me so much. Right, Joker is out. Um, I'm going to take the extra discard rather than the burning of a discard. Welcome back, Drunkard. Extra large blind. This could be trouble. Right. Give me a seven or a jack. How, how is it that I'm discarding every other card that works with Fibonacci? All right, well, as much as I'd like the Steel Queen, I will just play the full house I've been given. I will do it with the sevens for the benefit of Odd Todd. That is not a lot of points, though. There's not a lot of points. We have three aces. One three left is not great. Four sixes. I know I have glass kings in here. A glass king. All right, we'll do this. We found the Glass King. This is a Steel Queen. It 
It's a wild nine. Doesn't really help me. But it is foil. So I'm just going to play it as high card. We still have a three left, three kings left. Wow. This is not helpful. All right, we get this. The threes will go on Fibonacci for 8, 16, 24. So that'll be 28. That will double to 56. Yes. Then we get 24. We get 90 chips from Odd Todd. And then the trio goes off after. No idea if it's enough points. Nowhere near enough points. That one was just not it. Will there still be videos for the rest of the week? Um, I'm not recording right now. I, I thought about recording these and then setting them up as VODs over the remainder of the week, but I never hit the record button, so that is out. I guess I could hit record right now and see if we can do something with that, but uh, I don't know. There's definitely a video tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and then it depends on how much time I have between now and when I get Bellatro to fill in that gap of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I am not certain. All right, let's just see what we can do with Anaglyph. Show me wild, wacky, negative times. Two hundred points. Show me a club, cheeky club. Yes, love a cheeky club. Oh, flower pot! You're gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me do it, flower pot. Yes, 1.0 release stream should be. Can I say? I think I can say. Just look out on um, Monday afternoon. Should be be around Monday afternoon is what I'll say. Um, right, four colours. I got no viable clubs here. Wow, very rude. Incredibly rude. We have a spade and a diamond. Three of clubs doesn't help me. Ah. Oh immensely rude immensely rude are there rewards for beating the higher bosses in 1.0 such as plus one joker slot um i'm not entirely sure what the progression structure on wait are there rewards for beating higher boss blinds no Boss blinds won't have extra rewards, but the stakes of difficulty will have different challenges. I think I'm just going to play this full house and try and draw into anything I can play after this. Flower pot is not being my friend. Well, this flush will get me out of a pickle, so that's something. Two pair is viable with flower pot. It's not the most exciting, so I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, that's, I said it. Right, sevens. Queen, show me. Eight, ten. 
I shouldn't have done this with minus one hand size. I shouldn't have done this with minus one hand size. That is on me. I have made a terrible mistake. Club. Spade, spade. Art club diamond. Yes. Everything is fine. I wasn't worried. You were worried. I wasn't worried. Ah, uh, righty ho. Green Joker. Uh, let's start with the Jumbo Buffoon Pack. Thanks. Are we expecting the different difficulties following your typical ch casino chip colors? I don't think so because I think the most difficult chip color is gold and that is not a standard casino chip color. I know, at least where I play, uh, it'd be white for one, red for five. No, white, my, in my local, it's whites are one, reds are five, yellow, no, god damn it. It's been so long. Blacks are 25. Yellows are ones, reds are fives. And I don't play with... Uh, pinks are 100. That, that's been a while. Excuse me while I check a very important DM over here. Oh. Would you, would you kindly give me a moment? Just give me, just give me, <laughs> this is very important. Just give me a minute. I must not read this out loud. Well, I've just had a very exciting email. I won't tell you what it is, but I think some of you might be able to infer what it is. Question is, am I going to end the stream early to go and look at the contents of this email? I guess I won't. I guess I'll wait till tomorrow, but uh, holy moly. Um, what was happening? Something about a video game? Um... We're playing, we're playing Bellatro, and uh, I'm not going to think about this email too much. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. My brain has turned into a puddle. My brain has turned into a puddle. Do I want hologram? We could do hologram. Then jumbo standard pack, because hologram. So hologram gains 0.25 molt per playing card added to your deck, currently at one times multiplier. So we want to add as many playing cards as possible. This red sealed multiplier deuce of diamonds sounds great. How did you know I've been selected to be on Big Brother? I'm going to follow in the steps of, follow in the footsteps of Dan Giesling. Right. We don't skip this, but we skip this because we double tag the Mega Standard Pack for the benefit of Hologram. There's the plan. Uh, Super Scud, it was great news. It was fantastic news. Um, it's just not news that is incredibly useful to me while I'm doing this live stream. But it might be related to the reason why this is a finale farewell for Bellatro for me read between the lines as much as you like um i need a heart in this mess of cards if you give me the four of hearts back i'll be upset show me a heart any heart preferably one i can actually make use of uh 
Uh, is the email key giveaway stream for Steam on Bellatro release? Uh, it's not giveaways, but maybe it's about other things. Does anybody else have a entry on Hendon Mob? Does anybody else know what Hendon Mob even is? Because I am on Hendon Mob. Thoughts on Big Brother, but it's a roguelike YouTubers. Oh my god. Imagine the the competition that would come out of that. Oh, there's a heart. That is all the suits, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good. I was worried for a minute. Right, we have Jumbo Standard Pack. Jumbo Standard Pack takes priority over any Joker because we want Hologram to be as big as possible. Yes? Did somebody say Polychrome Six of Diamonds? Yes. Yes, please. And then we have a double tag. Gives a copy of the next selected tag. Double tag excluded. So we're going to get two of five playing cards. Twice. So we have to take something. I'm going to take this Queen of Spades. And this Ace of Spades. That puts this up to two malt. And then we get another booster pack on top of that. You're... <laughs> I want Hendel Mob. My name is Daniel Negranu, and I'm a decent poker player. <sighs> Three of you in chat are laughing, I'm sure. Um, I want to keep my suits fairly balanced, so do we have any hearts or clubs that are interesting here? Club is interesting, and I'll take the red seal four. All face cards are drawn face down. No, I, uh, I, I, I'm annoyed because I have some caches that are not logged on Hendon Mob, which is, if you don't know, uh, Hendon Mob is a kind of conglomeration website where they have databases of poker players' live tournament earnings and calendars for live poker events across the world and other poker-related news and shenanigans. And so there were a few poker ta uh, a few poker tournaments that I got caches in that were tracked and logged on Hendon Mob back in my younger man days. Give me a heart, please. You have two bracelets at the WSOP. That's very impressive. My name is Magnus, and I'm pretty decent at chess. Still need that heart. Spade, heart. Club, diamond. Oh, heart. Love it. I'm Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> My local. I made video game. I made really good video game. Sell many copies. I think that's kind of how it started with its name, Super Scud. Who's my favorite poker player? Oh god, that's a great question. Who who do I still like? Because a lot of people kind of fell off. Um, just the general pairing of Phil Locke, Antonio Esfandiari, and their like banter was always very good. Um, more modern day, um, like Andrew Nimi and um, Brad Brad Owen are both very good in the uh, the YouTube scene. Standard pack, we get more value for hologram. Glass 9 with a red seal is incredible. This is now 2.75x. I'm going to take credit card because I have no money. And that will be really nice to have next round. Do <laughs> we have a double tag. And we've pre been presented with polychrome tag or negative tag but I still have loads of room for polychrome jokers okay I actually do know Corey Iring and at least if we're thinking about the same person he's currently 
blowing his entire bankroll in Vegas and he signed a contract that he has to make like 46 videos on YouTube by the end of the month or something and other, if he doesn't do that his contract gets deleted so that's a whole thing see normally I would go with the double negative but because I still have all of this open room polychrome seems to be the smarter option to me right here um, one up uh, stretch this one is empty so now I open this one Listen for the hiss. Definitely didn't spit in my eye. If I uh, if I had any common sense, I would get a glass and drink like a regular human being, but I don't. All right, I'm gonna opt for polychrome. Yeah, but would I rather have two regular jokers and two regular negative jokers or two polychrome jokers? I think I would rather have two polychrome jokers. That could compound and make this run much better than a single 1.5x. I have credit card. So credit card gives me an extra $20 of buying power. So if I skip one, play another. I'm I'm following my heart. We're skipping this. Playing this. Hi Sunshine Koala. Great name. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Is it two polys in the same round? or two round of poly jokers. So when we get to the shop, if a joker appears in the shop, it gets poly put onto it. Skip both, I wouldn't have the money to buy four um, jokers. As much as it wouldn't generate four in the shop at the same time, but that ship has sailed. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just need a six of diamonds, which is actually very niche now that I look at it that way. Nine of diamonds though, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We'll probably do it. Wow, I have no base malt at all. <laughs> That's a problem. Okay, we need more value. Jackson fours in hearts and clubs does not really help me. So I think I'm just going to play them. This has been my YouTube name since I was 12, and you can really tell. So when I was 12, I was very specifically not 13 yet, and you had to be 13 to sign up for Xbox Live on the original Xbox. But I managed to get my parents to like squeeze me just in under the wire. And I was, I think I was the underscore gothic underscore lord way back then. And then gothic lord has just persisted in my naming ever since so that's a whole thing but this situation is not getting any better we have a six of diamonds polychrome now but it doesn't really help all right here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna look for a spade and find one and just play this flush and hope that it's worth a little something something heart club spade club diamond the streamer luck is real all right i need some base malt though good lord i need some base malt Okay, we have 
Polychrome misprint. Sold. We have foil gluttonous. Or I could take a buffoon pack. Or I could wait till the next shop when the polychrome will go off again. Ah, yes. The good old Xbox Live days when we were all born in 1969 attending the 8th grade. Um, minus one dollar. This is not bad, but it's not great. And this is going to do us plenty for keeping this train rolling. What are we up on next? Skipped, defeated, the wall. Okay, that changes some things. That changes some things. I can afford a reroll. If I reroll down to minus six and the joker that I get is rare, I won't be able to afford it, I think. Hey Robin, it's going well. How are you doing? How is your Tuesday going? Tuesday, as we say around here. Tuesday. Hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Still pretty early in the week, but you know. I'm just pondering what to do with $19 of extra debt. Buff greater than reroll. Do we mean the gluttonous is greater than rerolling? What, when, what are we defining as buff in this situation? Will the buff pack turn a Joker Polly? Oh, Buffoon. I don't know. This says Shop has a Polychrome Joker, not Booster has a Polychrome Joker, so probably not. So I'm probably just going to end up getting a Joker, and then once I've got that Joker, I'd have to sell it to make room for the Polychrome thing I'm about to make. How long will you still stream? That is a great question. I was going to go for about another hour, but that might get cut short because of the email I have just received. So that remains to be seen. Have a good night, Benjamin. I hope you are well and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to do this. It might not be the most popular, but I've made that decision now. Okay. Clubs, misprint polychrome, 2.75x, 3x if we play all the suits. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do this and look for seven, five, anything in that realm. We do not find it. But I think I'm just going to play this full house. Between the clubs, this is going to trigger twice on that club. This is going to be 1.5x malt. This is going to be some malt and 1.5x. This is going to be 2.75x. Perfect. Absolutely cracking. And now we have a, po a polychrome fortune teller on plus zero. I'm still doing it. You can't stop me. Oh my god. He's going to get more polychrome. He just has to save enough that he can sell the credit card to fund the other polychrome he gets. This hologram is huge. 2.75. I think my biggest was like 3.75 or 4.25 or something. That was the video I got three holograms in. Do we have a straight? We don't, but we very nearly do. This is our only spade. This is our only heart. So we do that. Two, three, four, five in the four suits. Then we just need any ace or six. Club, 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 spade, diamond, heart. Sorted. It's going well. Jumbo. 
because hologram. I'm going to take a wild three for flower pot. Then next round, double polychrome into the hook. This is going to steal all my... Oh no, this is not steal my money. That's a different guy. Um, discards two random cards per hand played. Well then. Could have skipped for double mega arcana there for a fortune teller. I could have. You are not wrong. Fortune teller hasn't even entered my consciousness right now. Heart, spade, diamond, no clubs. Heart, club, diamond, spade, heart. Sorted. Spade, heart, diamond, club, heart. It's better when misprint pays out something reasonable, but I can't be in control of that bit. Put misprint before the pollies. Great shout. Raised fist. Uh, I can try and remember to show you guys the seed. I can do my best to remember at the end. Um, okay. If I... This is five tarot cards. If I can get temperance, this lot is going to be worth a small fortune. Which means I could sell credit card, buy this, and have more polychrome cards. Temperance. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Then we can sell credit card. Then we can take raised fist. So we have polychrome raised fist, polychrome misprint, polychrome fortune teller, hologram flower pot. Unfortunately, I can't afford this standard pack for hologram's sake, but we've got a load out here, don't we? And we're going to get another polychrome card in a second. Uh, but I could take Charm Tag here and get four cards for Fortune Teller. What do we take is a great question. That's going to have a Temperance. And then we have... More clubs and diamonds than anything else, but not that invested in any particular suit over another, so just do that. Then I'm going to use this temperance. We get $22. And then Emperor into two more tarot cards. What do we have most of? Clubs and diamonds. Five of diamonds. How little do I care about you? You're next to a polychrome six. Ten of clubs. Nine of clubs. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. I'm going to turn you into a stone card. Then I'm going to destroy you with hanged man. Then... I'm going to make these fives have extra multiplier on them. If I find a random polychrome card in the shop, it could be doable, but I don't know that I can get two more polychromes in here. Spade, diamond, heart, club. Let's try and fill that out to a full house. Well, I will keep the steel card in hand. There is the full house. Casual 140,000, you know, how we do. And a polychrome banana. 
I don't think I can take the polychrome banana, but it's there. Although, do you reckon a polychrome banana is better than polychrome fortune teller? Do you reckon that's like worth the trade at this stage? How many blinds do we have left? The fish and the boss. So I just need polychrome banana to survive one check at the end of the last round. All right, so, or we could get rid of Polychrome Misprint because this is going to be around eight-ish on average. Whereas this is eight guaranteed and I can get three more out of this. So I think we drop Misprint. Or do we drop Flower Pot? Surely it won't die. Oh, God. And then it dies, and then we will clip it and be like, yep, there it is. Um... Do we ever get rid of Flower Pot? We have one more shop after this. I'm, do I I'm doing this for a start. That's just common sense. Let's do this right now as well. Then we'll do that. Then we'll do that. Then we'll do this this rock flower pot for banana interested to see if misprint gives anything other than plus random in the full game it used to give i think it was the range of minus two to plus 20 and then the developer decided that wasn't fun so now it's between zero and plus 20 i think gary perrier Hey, hey, just finished watching today's vid. Did we hit complete collection? We have we have not seen Seance in three hours. Two hours, three hours, whatever it is. We haven't seen Seance yet, so we've not hit complete collection. Unfortunately, we're just having the debate about getting rid of this flower pot for this banana. So there is your polychrome party. And I think hologram is kind of like an honorary polychrome, right? Arcana pack for the wheel. Ah, <laughs> oh, could you believe it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let us absorb this moment for a second. Could you believe it? If this made hologram polychrome, could you believe it? It might be the greatest thing that ever happens to me playing this game if this is polychrome. This, this is the only target. It can't do an addition over these. It can only hit hologram. Hi, this is my face. I've posted my face before, so I'm not like precious about it, but if you haven't seen it before, now you know what noise makes is made by this particular face hole you know the face hole that this noise comes out of all right three two one oh, so close so close i'm gonna have to have words with the developer i'm gonna have to have words with the developer All right, give me that Celestial pack. So, so close. Uh, we have one more shop after this, so I will save some pennies. Polychrome 6 is nice to see. And we need the heart, so let's do, discard these ones. Spade, diamond, diamond, diamond club. I need a heart in there, please. I'm actually going to delete, delete. I keep saying delete. I'm going to get rid of these and look for a two, four, or ace to fill out this full house. There's the four. So 
If if this can't be polychrome, at least we can play a polychrome six, and that's five polychromes. Why am I still trying to make flower pot work when I don't have flower pot? You guys are totally correct. Still, giant full house is a giant full house. All right, thirty dollars standard pack for hologram. Wild seven, sure. Um. I'll do Celestial Pack. More full house value. Art with Malt. Joker. Reroll. Can you imagine if it was a polychrome flower pot? A bonkers we would have all gone. Throwback would have been great as well. But not right now. Alrighty, here we go. Cerulean Bell once again. I would prefer to play a full house, obviously. Um, this is wild. Doesn't help me at all right now, really. I mean, I could do this, I guess. Whoa, we're two thirds of the way there. Whoa. Now it's a shame that I can't play this glass red seal nine in an effective way to let the nine double twice. I guess I can do this. The nine will double twice on glass, even though it's high card times one malt. But we'll also get 14 from Ray's Fist and all the rest. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Too bad the chips are virtual. Right, I am going to call a premature end to today's stream. I have a very important email to attend to. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me through all of the previous playtests and demos in Bellatro. I think there, it looks like there is going to be one more video tomorrow, and then there will be a gap in the videos until Monday the 19th of February, and then all of the hype for 1.0 will commence. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the hype up towards 1.0 over the coming week. Stay well, look after yourselves, and I will see you guys later. Cheers. Now, I put the end screen on, and I try and figure out how to end the stream while you guys awkwardly listen to me potter around, because I don't stream enough to be like, oh yeah, I pushed that button to stop. Oh, uh, you are right. Raise fist double procs on red seal. I should have thought about that. Oh, the seed. You guys are legends. I'm so sorry that I didn't stop for it, but you guys caught it in the chat. All right. I'm going to figure out how to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you all immensely.